every December we separate a Sunday and we call it testimony service. And what a joy that we have lots of testimony here tonight, today. Uh, I will reserve uh, Madam's testimony till towards the end of the service when she'll be dancing forward with family and friends. Uh, I, I, I have had the testimony. Uh, I remember myself and you and the HOD. Are we three or four? That how we, and you two, four? How we finished service that day and they brought the bad news. But it's not, you see, the, the, the story is like Jesus' story. Jesus died and he rose again. The bad side of the story is that he died, Abby. But the good news is that what? Satan, shame unto you. So, he rose again is a complete part of the story. So, four of us prayed, standing there with annoyance. Because that thing is annoying. How can somebody be serving God? And you now want to trap and sit and feel. Today she's in church. Now, we will be hearing our testimony and we'll be, doing, we'll be dancing. Please, this service is dancing and testimony and that's what it's all about. Praise God. But let me show you a scripture in Luke chapter 15. Luke 15. Sorry, Luke 17, verse 15. Luke 17, verse, Luke 17, verse 15. And one of them, that's one of the ten lepers, that was cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned with what? That's where, that's where I want you to. With a loud... He didn't go return and whisper his testimony. I have one small testimony. It's, it shows you are not even grateful. You have called it small already. I don't want to share it with too many people. Let me share it with only you. Is that what he did? No. It was with a loud voice he received the testimony. He returned with another word. The Bible says he returned with a loud voice to share his testimony. Many people are here to share their testimony with a loud voice. And the moment he shared that testimony, what happened? Jesus added to his testimony. He said, go and be made whole. Be restored. Others were cleansed. You, you are restored. When leprosy is cleansed, it will stop chopping the finger, but the finger is gone. But when it is restored, healed, made whole, made perfect, the finger will have to grow back. Because if you say something is old, that means it has to be perfect. And you cannot tell me the finger that is chopped and, with, and Jesus declared to be perfected. Why should it be perfect? Because until the finger comes back, it's not perfect. There are testimonies that will be shared this morning that God will perfect. Yeah. You're not saying amen. Yeah. 